the vicar of St. Matthew's Anglican Church, Meitama Abuja, Venerable Ife Makaya, has said that the day of Pentecost is an annual event that is being celebrated by every Jew, adding that it also marks the day that the Holy Spirit fell on the apostles. Venerable Akaya made this assertion during his sermon on the Pentecost Sunday, speaking on the topic Church Aflame through the presence of the Holy Spirit, as he stressed on the importance of the Holy Spirit to the church. When we talk about being a Pentecostal church member, we are simply talking about that member of church that is filled with the Holy Spirit, not the denomination. It is the Holy Spirit that is the life wire of the church. Without the Holy Spirit, the church is just a social gathering. Without the Holy Spirit, in the church, the church is powerless. So what took place on the day of Pentecost? God allowed the Holy Spirit to come down that day upon the people. We need the Holy Spirit to survive as Christians. May you be filled with the Holy Spirit this morning. The cleric also emphasized on the need for unity in the church, which he said is very paramount to the body of Christ. He told them, be patient. Stay in one place, be united in prayer. Until the Holy Spirit comes on you. Don't be in a hurry. Why? Because Jesus Christ understood the enormity and the scope of the assignment he was given to his disciples. He knew that they wouldn't be able to carry it out the way it should be carried out without the Holy Spirit. And so he told them to be patient. On this festival day, they were still together, the Bible says, in one accord, in other words, in agreement with each other. One of the things that we rob or can always rob the church of its power. What can strip the church of its power is when the church is divided. If the church is divided, the Holy Spirit cannot be there. Any man, any woman who says he's a Christian and has no Holy Spirit is devoid of power. Highlights of the service was prayers for the impartition of the Holy Spirit in the church as members were led into intensive prayers by the Reverend Canon George Agun. <laughs> 